Dom, what the hell are the big rocks? But look, the big, the big rocks to me are the things, the big things that we should do when it comes to focusing on our health and fitness. Now, I would say this particularly as we age, because maybe that's the people I'm talking to, but the reality is I don't give a shit how old you are. The big rocks apply to everybody because they're simple. You turn over a big rock, there's more things to unpack, more things to uncover. So this hand of mine, on this hand, I got five fingers. I've only got five big rocks. Let's just talk about the first one. Strength training. It goes without saying, I don't want to slip, trip and break a hip. I want to add some muscle. I want to improve my mobility. I want to feel good about myself. I want to get that hit, those endorphins. And all that stuff is going to come from strength training. I'm also going to maybe smile because I look at the runners out there and I don't see anyone fucking running along with a smile on their face. So strength training. It also, that building muscle kicks off to the second thing and that is it helps me boost my metabolism. What else can we do with the metabolism? Ah, good segue, Dom. Protein. Prioritize your protein. For me, it is sources of animal protein, simply because without there, I get my fats, and those two are essential. Carbohydrates are not, although they taste good. I prioritize my protein. I get in. It has a thermogenic effect. In other words, my body has to work a little bit harder when it comes to burning and breaking down that protein to disseminate that throughout my body. Hey, for those out there who like the calorie burn, then go get your protein. It's satiating. Eating a good bit of protein with every meal and eating it first will fill you up and you won't then go on to eat the other, all the junky crap. And you wouldn't necessarily need to have a snack because if you combine protein with number three, and this is an extra bonus, is fiber because it helps your gut. It helps keep your regular and you can do as the people say and eat the rainbow. Then get your fiber along with your protein. The third thing, let's go back to it. Okay, I talked about running before and I'm really, whilst I don't really like it, I do do it occasionally for things that I want to do. But the other thing for me is walking. I can walk. I can go anywhere. I don't give a shit. I can go up and down the hill. I can go around the block. I can take a trail. I can go when it's raining, when it's sunshine, when it's snowing for those of you in the Northern Hemisphere. And also too, it's free. It is part of mobility. It is part of building strength when I do something and I go up a steep I also feel good. I get to go out, I listen, I put podcasts in. That there is number three for me. Water. Stay hydrated. Seriously. Even if you miss the food, bits and pieces, and you're a fasting type person, if you don't do water, you're on a slow road to death. It hydrates everything. It keeps the skin looking younger. Particularly for those of us to get a bit older. It helps with digestion and it stops us getting constipated, which means that we're not spending hours on the toilet trying to squeeze out a cable. So far, we're at the four. We've got that bonus one in there. So what is the fifth one? For me, number five is sleep. People say, I'll sleep when I'm dead. Well, freaking oath you will. You will sleep when you're dead. It's a constant sleep. The problem is, is that we're still hung up with this burning the candle at both ends bullshit. It's something that was a legacy of being in the consulting industry where I spent a fair bit of my time. Sleep is where you recover. It's where this brain clogs all the shit that's stuck up inside here and flushes it out. It aids in recovery. It's where my muscles do their work. I also feel better. I also feel bad about well-being. I feel rested when I wake up. And also, you've got the different stages, the REM sleep, the deep sleep, the light sleep, and all the types of sleep. At the end of the day, you need to get your sleep, because if you don't get your sleep, everything else feels shit, and therefore you can forget about getting another bang for your buck with those things too. So, they're the big rocks. Quite seriously, I don't know why the fuck you're mucking around with any other stuff. Strength training, you don't need 13 stations at an F whatever number stadio to run around like a cardio bunny and really not do any strength training in the session. You also don't need to go out and run and therefore put your body in position where it wants to jettison all that muscle that you've just burnt. So, focus on the big rocks. They're simple, there's only five of them. Maybe then you'll get your shit together and do this for long term.